Want to talk about these black hens and our flock this morning. We have chicken hawks out here. The red tail hawk, also known as the chicken hawk. I got three of them within sight line to my coop. But crows are an enemy to the to the hawk. I've watched crows gang up on the hawk and run them off. And when we added black chickens to our chicken flock, the hawks look down and they can't tell the difference between a crow and a black hen. So ever since we added all these marin hens, we haven't had any problems with the hawks coming around and messing with our chickens. So if you have hawks in your area, I mean, it's not a 100% solution, but it'll help. Add some, add some black hens to your flock and, um, and be nice to the crows if you have any. Because those crows are your chicken's best friend. Have a blessed day, y'all. This is the cat house. It's kind of dirty. Well, poopy. Cat's poop in here. <clears throat> but, uh... <laughs> I hear kittens. I just can't find them. I don't know where they are. Maybe next week I'm going to finish working on... Uh, this cat house. I got to put down... <clears throat> I got the boards all the way up to here. <clears throat> Uh, I gotta go get another piece and cut out this section. And the piece that I got left from this section will end up going in this bathroom area. And then I'll cut a hole for their door. Uh, there. I don't think the kittens are down in here. Can't see in there. It's too cold. I don't think they would be down there. I think the kittens are up in here. Kittens! Meow! 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 Kitty, kitty, kitty! Meow, 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 meow! Anyways, <clears throat> I gotta clean this area up, up here, too. <clears throat> you guys pooping all over the place. Donna, she's been sleeping in a uh, charcoal to tote. She's supposed to be orange, but she's like blue. Black and blue. Black. She's like grayish. I gotta watch her this. When you pet her, you gotta be careful. She'll, she's like got what they call biting aggression or something. <clears throat> anyway. I ain't got a whole lot done back here this week. Just a little bit. Oh, I wanted to show the tadpoles. We got a butt load of tadpo tadpoles. Yeah, my brother moved down Friday, so I helped him move into his house, and then uh, been back and forth doing different things. <clears throat> Our friend Laura moved down too, or is moving down. There's the tadpoles. I don't know if you can see them. There's a whole school of them over here, I think. Looks like coons have been here. <clears throat> yeah, those are coon paw prints right there. <clears throat> I can't.
killed a coon over a calf hanger. <laughs> but I ain't caught one over here yet. <clears throat> but they're around. I got my traps <clears throat> set up. <clears throat> I'll be going over to Kaplinger here in a second to check those traps. And then I'm going to come back over here uh, and trim the goat's hooves and pass due. <clears throat> I used to think that you had to do it every four to six months. Then I found out it's like half of that amount of time. So <clears throat> yeah. It's chilly this morning. <clears throat> that won't stay no, that won't last. It'll be it'll be hot here in a little bit. <clears throat> so my brother's going fishing today. I don't really fish. And I don't have a license, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll have to get one now that my brother and my nephew stand here. I'll have to get this boat fixed <coughs> so we can take it out on the water. Here's some of the other kittens. She's got them in a good spot. Even if they get out of the lick tubs, they're not getting out of this trailer. <coughs> not till she takes them out. There's candy. But I don't want to mess with her babies because I want to make sure she takes care of them this year. This is not the mom. She's a good mommy. Yeah, she's a good mommy. <laughs> I gotta be careful not to pet her too much. She's just, she loves attention. <laughs> She'll maul you <clears throat> for attention. She's crazy like that. <clears throat> crazy candy. She's probably the worst when it comes to attention, so you can't give her too much. Because she'll just go crazy, like, oh yeah, more, 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 more. It's just like, yeah, she'll be all over you. <clears throat> the other cats, you know, they like attention too, a lot of it. But they're not as bad about it as she is. So I don't give her as much. <clears throat> She is the princess of the land. She's probably one of the prettiest cats. For her long hair, she keeps herself, you know, pristine. Call her Princess Candy. Princess. <clears throat> I 
That's Mickey, the orange one. And then that's the mother. Her name is Swirl. She's an alpha. <clears throat> She's one of the alphas on the land. <laughs> we got two boys here. <clears throat> I thought about bringing Pivot back over here, but... <clears throat> I don't know. So I'm going to Kaplinger, check on Kaplinger. And, uh, yeah. Oh, my brother kept me up till midnight last night. We had a bonfire at his place. We had a blast, though. We had a blast. All right. All right, well, my plans have changed a little bit today. <coughs> my blue trucks broke down. So I'll be driving this one, and hopefully it doesn't leave me stranded. It's uh, been giving me problems, too, but... <coughs> I got my green truck in the shop right now. <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> so I hadn't put this one in the shop yet because I've been, uh... waiting for the green one to get out of the shop. I don't know what... Oh, I know what I was doing. This was handy. This door. There we go. <clears throat> so I've been kind of using this one for storage, but now I gotta drive it. <clears throat> I got a bunch of egg cartons and stuff in here. <clears throat> I don't want to put the egg cartons. Where the mice can eat them and, you know, chew them up and stuff. So, <clears throat> they'll be fine in here, I think. Because I don't really have a mouse problem in here. But the box truck, they seem to get into. So, I might put them in here for now. And then move them to my container later. <clears throat> I got new tires. But, uh, I've been having uh, starting problems with this truck. Sometimes it doesn't want to start. So, but I just replaced the uh, cap and rotor. <clears throat> um, but I got to replace another wire for the ignition. <clears throat> and then uh, I might just go ahead and replace the spark plugs and the spark plug wires too, just to be safe. <clears throat> I might do that today. But, anyways. I still got trim the goat's hooves. I'm behind schedule on that too. We got a buttload of egg cartons, man alive. And these, these, this is cool. <sighs> Alright, this is my current secret laboratory. Trying to figure out where to put this so I can have the light and you can see as well. Probably not going to happen. <clears throat> but anyhow. This is my camper. These are my different concoctions. <clears throat> Mostly they're like elixirs. <clears throat> but I'm trying to dilute all this powder stuff that's in the bottom. So I'm cutting it with wine. And, uh, yeah. And so that's... <laughs> and then I use the wine for my elixir, so... That one's got more powder in it. So what I'll do is I'll half and half this. Every time I get a new clean container, <clears throat> I'll basically half and half these. 
with this stuff and wine. And I'll just keep doing that until I got that powder stuff diluted. And then basically it's fortified wine. And then, um, like I said, I make, elder, um, I make, I use elderberry syrup, honey, wine, uh, elderberry tincture, and pokeberry tincture. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it um, to make my elixirs. <laughs> and they're basically, oh, and I'll add some colloidal minerals. Um, and whatnot, <clears throat> you know, random liquid nutrients that I have laying around, I'll put that in there as well. But yeah, and that'll basically cure whatever ails you. Anytime I feel raspy or I feel like I might be coming down with something potentially, <clears throat> I'll whip up <laughs> and use my elixir. So, all right. that's done for now but anyhow what this was originally was like a green powder that got moisture in it it wasn't green it was more like a red powder like raspberry you know so you got your your green powder which this is my green powder mixed in with some other stuff that i make but anyways i had a red powder it's like raspberry and stuff like that. <clears throat> and for, for whatever reason, it got some moisture in it and solidified. So to keep it from going to waste, that's what this is. <clears throat> and uh, basically, I've just been diluting it. So that I basically just have the fortified wine. <clears throat> And then I can drink the wine. I can cut the wine and have, and because I don't like it straight, anyways. But I can cut the wine and have a healthier wine because what I usually cut it with is some sort of juice. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, or I can use it to make my elixir. But, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, here's another empty container. I think it had honey in it. So, yeah, I might just go ahead and cut it again. Because I got plenty of wine. I got another big bottle there, and I got a little, a half a big bottle here. And then I got, <clears throat> this is my honey mix. Honey, maple syrup, and molasses mix. <clears throat> um... I need to actually cut that again and add more honey to it. And that's what I'll use for my elixirs. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, <clears throat> I might go ahead and cut another one since I got this. Let's see here, this is... I got one in the back of the pickup truck I can use. And then I can basically cut this 50-50. This is a little bit bigger than these. <clears throat> uh, this is 64 ounces, where this is like 52 ounces. Although these guys shrank their product, so their new product is actually this amount, 52 ounces instead of 64. But they're still charging the same amount as they were charging for the 64 fact i think the price went up since then so <clears throat> i quit buying their <clears throat> quit buying their tea because uh they shortchanged us it's still good tea <clears throat> but um yeah i don't know anyways so yeah i might go ahead and cut another one <laughs>
And then uh, this one looks like it's got a lot in it. Yeah, I'm just trying to dilute this down to where it's not <clears throat> as fortified. It's still fortified, but not as fortified. Um, <clears throat> I had seeds in there too. Hemp seeds and uh, whatnot. So I'm just trying to dilute <clears throat> all of that stuff because it was a big container. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. All right. A few moments later. All right. I got everybody's hose trimmed except for Paul's. He won't go back in there. He got out and now he won't go back in. I can't trick him to go in either. He's smart. He knows better. So I might have to trim his hose next time. Unless I can trick him in there somehow. I'll just trim his hose next time I'm in town. <laughs> Fill that up with water. trying to do other things to trick him to go in there like I'm not paying attention. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably about the right. I could probably go a little bit uh, smaller. But that's about right. This had cattle feed in it. That's why it's green. I'll dig it out later. I'm trying to get Paul in that yard, but he's not going. It's like, I'm not dumb.
You can tell he wants to go in here. He's watching me. Now the rest of them are coming out, so gigs up. I have to get more food. There's the baby. <clears throat> so I got all of their hose trimmed except for Paul's. That's all right. Like I said, I'll get him next time. <clears throat> they squeezed out to this corner. <clears throat> So I had to fix it so they couldn't do that again. But it's not really fixed. Not good enough. I gotta rebuild this corral. I asked David Ray to do it before you know we had our falling out. But he refused. Which is basically one of the reasons we had a falling out. He wouldn't do shit around here. So, oh well, it's a lot better now that he's gone. <clears throat> I mean, I got to do everything myself, but I had to do everything myself before, you know. He would help out maybe 1% of the time. Yeah, that's about right, 1%. I was only home 10% of the time and I did more work than he did. <clears throat> what? You guys are supposed to be in this yard. Matt! Matt! Goofy goobers. Look at Paul. <laughs> You're so funny. <sighs> Paul's like, yeah, I don't think so. Now he's getting they're they're going outside now, so now he'll go. He won't go in that corral though. But yeah, I need to trim his hose too.
He's like, ah, I, I can trim them. I got this. Get on my face. I think this has got a crack in the bottom, so I'm gonna have to use it for a planter. It won't hold water anymore, I don't think. Yep, there's the crack. <clears throat> so what I did was, I couldn't find my other leashes. I got a leash that'll wrap around their horns so it doesn't choke them. <clears throat> but I got collars on them too. <laughs> So I just hooked these to their collars, stretched them out where they couldn't hardly move. But I really need a third one. Ramsey, she kept trying to ram me <clears throat> and bite me. She's a pain in the butt. So if I wanted to get rid of a goat, she would be the one. She's got a good milk bag. I don't know about the other ones. They didn't seem to have good milk bags as compared to hers. But. I might be able to trick them back in there. <laughs> if I go get more food. <clears throat> I'll be working on making a corral up front. And, uh... That'll be a lot better. A lot better. But their hooves weren't that bad. I got gravel on the property, so and it's pretty rock it's pretty rocky here. <laughs> what I'd like to do is order in some really big rocks for them to play King of the Mountain on and put them in their yards. And in that way. <laughs> That'll help trim their hooves too. <laughs> That'll save me some time and effort. <clears throat> so, cause I went over, I'm overdue on trimming their hooves and they really weren't that bad. They really weren't that bad. So, I could probably get away with four to six months. <clears throat> but, I'm going to try to stick with th two to three. But if I miss one every now and then, it probably wouldn't hurt. Probably won't be so bad. I'm going to see if I can trick them down there again. I'm going to check my text messages and stuff. Because Laura and her friend are supposed to come over. And her friend wants to see the goats. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got their attention. Maybe I'll see if I can't check them to go back in there again. This one here, she likes the way I taste. I was like, get off me, get off me. She kept trying to lick me. Ramsey. All right. No, I don't think I'm gonna get them any food yet. I'll try later. Get off the truck. Bah! <laughs> I'll try later. I fire out the truck, they'll run. took off. Alright. I got so many things to do. I don't know. Oh yeah, I gotta go get my truck ready to go to the shop. I'm gonna go do that. Not this truck, but my other one. I gotta clean out all my crap. <clears throat> so I'll go do that. Then I'll come back and try and get Paul and get his hoof, hooves trimmed uh, yeah later all right i bumped into brian rio while i was out getting fuel for the lawnmowers <clears throat> and he says these are sweet onions I paid 10 bucks for all of these. They're not bad. It's a mild onion. I like it. I can eat that. My mom might even like it. She's not an onion fan. Maybe you got a map? No, a baby rabbit.
I know this looks cruel, but that's her food. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not going to get in the way of that. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much dead. <clears throat> Put these in here for now. It should be fine. It's gonna, it's gonna it's supposed to rain this week. Anyways, I wanted to show you what my nephew and I did. We got this pretty much finished. We got a little bit more to do over there, and some more in here. But we gotta. We almost got this all leveled out. I ended up moving this over, David Ray didn't have it center so I ended up having to dig it up and centering it this went to seed so I went ahead and planted the seeds so it'll come up later I got fish in all the barrels <clears throat> so all of these are now center with the beams like somebody else was supposed to do before but never did it <clears throat> i finally got it done i found some asparagus so i planted it there hopefully it survives it's still green i need to maybe water it i don't have a lot of water up here i was gonna get oh maybe i can do that tonight it's gonna drag up a hose from in the back and run it in from a tote and it gave me an idea what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm basically putting this fence here eight foot out. <laughs> Once I get it done, I'm going to line some totes over there on the north side of the greenhouse. <clears throat> so I can fill them up with water from the road. And then run the water into the greenhouse. And I got water on my other property. So, yeah. But I'm also going to work on trying to figure out a way to do rainwater collection off of the greenhouse <coughs> as well. <sighs> so we almost got, or I almost got, the blackberries done. I got one more row <clears throat> of um, fencing to do, basically on this side, and then uh, I have the blackberry patch filled in or fenced off. <clears throat> Problem is, my goats are now figuring out how to climb pallets, which is not a good thing. <clears throat> Now that I went through all that work, now I might have to figure out something else. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> might end up just having to use these instead. But <clears throat> I wanted to keep the goats from eating 
the blackberries. I mean, they can eat them through the fence. But then again, <clears throat> then again, um, <clears throat> just like I have eight foot out from the greenhouse here, <clears throat> I probably have eight foot out from the blackberries in the future greenhouse over here as well. <clears throat> so the ghosts actually won't be able to get in here. Unless I let them in, which I will. I'll let them in here while I monitor them to go in between and clean all this up. <clears throat> but if they try to climb up on top, I'll be like kicking their butts. <clears throat> but anyhow, I'm still working on this as well. I need to get more carpet. <clears throat> my garlic's not growing through yet something's been digging in here there's one of my garlics <sighs> hopefully the cat's ah oh, there it is poop Damn it. Cat. Poop. That's why I got those screens. So I can put them over these. To keep the cats from using these as litter boxes. And digging up my food. So. Looks like. Oh. I'll have to worry. I'll have to do that next time I'm in. Because I just don't have time right now. But anyways, <clears throat> I still got to go lock up the goats and uh, check the coon traps and lock up my camper and wash my hands. I don't have water up here to wash my hands. Oh, yeah, I do. Over here. So I got one, two, three, four totes full of water. Well, not completely full of water, but anyways. So once I get them drained and relocated over there, <clears throat> then... Uh, Basically, all along here, I'm going to have the totes. <clears throat> and then I got hoses. I can run the water in to the greenhouse uh, with the hoses. And hoses aren't going to freeze. They're like hazmat hoses. So well, they'll freeze, but they won't burst, you know, if there's water in the lines. <clears throat> but come winter... I won't have water in the lines anyways because everything's going to be frozen up. So, um, <clears throat> what I also might do is uh, <clears throat> have some totes inside as well in this section. <clears throat> and then basically gravity feed them into there. <clears throat> so I'll have the lines hooked up running in there. And then, so when I fill these up, it'll basically balance out. The water will flow into those <clears throat> in there. And as this, you know, fills up, it'll fill up in there and it'll kind of just kind of keep it level. And then, boom. Once this one's full, it'll be full in there. So, <clears throat> and it may be off a little bit, but that's the plan. <laughs> and um but actually the one out here might be higher than the one in there <clears throat> so when this one's full that one will be overflowing at least that's 
that's my theory. So we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how it all works out. <laughs> but uh, I might have make. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> so it's coming together slowly but surely. But I'm being more productive on my own than I did with so-called help here who actually set me back. So, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to go down, lock the goats up, and get ready to go to work tomorrow because it's already 9 o'clock. So it's my bedtime. All right, it's Mimi. So I'm back here to lock the goats up. I forgot to mention that I finally got Paul's hose trimmed. <clears throat> so he's taken care of now. All the goats are done. I just need to update that in my database so I know when I last trimmed them hose. <clears throat> and I could do it again in another three months. Their hose were pretty good. <clears throat> I trimmed them <clears throat> and... I don't remember. November or December. I can't remember when I last trimmed their hose. But it's been, I don't know, at least four months <clears throat> since I trimmed their hose. So, <clears throat> and like I said, they weren't, they weren't bad. <clears throat> they were starting to curl under and stuff. Uh, Paul's back hooves were worse than his front hooves but again once i get more gravel on the land you know for my road and stuff my driveway <coughs> that will help keep their hose trimmed and then uh <sighs> And if I can afford to, or when I can afford to, um, <clears throat> I'll basically get some big rocks <clears throat> so they can climb on the rocks and keep their hose trimmed that way as well. Because I like to climb on things. If I remember correctly, this other gate's not closed properly. <laughs> but yeah, I get fencing done over at Kaplinger too. <clears throat> I can load the goats up in the trailer. Take them over to Kaplinger and let, you know, basically rotate them over there. Is there another rabbit? Every couple few weeks. All right, so they're squeezing under. Well, <coughs> They're not really squeezing under from that side. They're squeezing under from this side. But, yeah, you know, just make sure I do this a little lower. That's not going to work.
That looks kind of cool. That could be a screensaver. Let me see if I can click it. Cool. Oh, I gotta add water to that thing. Yeah, I got water in there. There we go. <laughs> Fill that up. <laughs> so I got water. <laughs> How much water do I have in here? Oh, okay. Plenty. <laughs> so that's why I keep the totes with water in them, because uh, <laughs> if we don't get enough rain, then I gotta fill these tubs and stuff with water for them. <laughs> it's not filling very fast. Tails. He's got a really long tail. So I got to get a new trash pump <clears throat> or whatever because the pump that we had was David Ray's. <clears throat> so if I come in here with water, I can't pump it into this tote because it's too high up. <clears throat> but I could do like I did down here and set up another gravity feed tote. <clears throat> Because from up there, I can fill all th this one all the way to the top. <clears throat> Gravity feed it all the way down. So I can set up another one down here on the other side of the fence. <clears throat> and basically just gravity feed them. <clears throat> and I can set up more down here if I wanted to. It's almost there. Another four or five inches. Couple more, maybe three. <clears throat> I probably ought to put fish in here too. <laughs> Keep the mosquitoes down. <clears throat> That's pretty close. Oh, 
Watch your face. Uh. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> progress is progress, I would say. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been as productive as I want to because I've been trying to save money to buy this property next to me. <clears throat> that and I got too much money invested in stocks. Some of the stocks um, probably are not wise investments, but overall I'm making money. I'm, I've lost about $700 total. <clears throat> on the uh, day trading side. But overall, <clears throat> I've been making money. <clears throat> the day trading side, I was basically learning about stocks. <clears throat> trying to figure out how people make money. And then I discovered dividends. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and when I started focusing on that, that's when I started making money. <clears throat> I was like also another 700 in the hole with Bitcoin, but now that it's gone up, <clears throat> right now I'm breaking even. But I'm waiting for it to go up more. I've already cashed out a couple hundred. But I'm waiting for it to go up more so I can make more. Ow. Ow, my pinky. Ow. Whew, okay. Speaking of clipping, uh, I think the goat hoof trimming tools <laughs> are not where they're supposed to be so I gotta go put those away <clears throat> and lock up my camper so I need my keys for that. <clears throat> I really ought to build me a house here. So that way I can be here. Focus my energy here. <clears throat> Kaplinger. <clears throat> is more or less going to be a temporary residency if you will oh i gotta put the battery back in this automatic feeder dang it so i gotta come back down here because that's in my big truck <clears throat> i almost forgot about that she's pregnant <clears throat> <clears throat> Next week when I'm home, I gotta go get more, probably two more bags of cat food. <clears throat> the cats are probably my biggest expense here, but to keep the rodents down. <clears throat> so, uh, and I hate rodents. They probably cost me about 50 bucks a month or more. <clears throat> Since the cat food price went up, they're costing me a little bit more money than before. That was not too bad. All right. Uh, 
Oi, oi, oi. Falling over. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, got that locked up. <clears throat> <clears throat> go check coon trap I should have checked that first because <clears throat> if I caught a coon I'm gonna have to go back and get my gun but you know what maybe I'll go up and get the battery first and then come back down and check the trap because I gotta come back down here anyways all right.